Hello everyone, welcome again. In this software testing tutorial, we are going to learn about severity and priority in software testing. Or basically to elaborate severity and priority for software defects or defects in software testing. So this is very widely asked interview question as well. So if you are a fresher or even if you are working in the software testing industry for a couple of years, this will be the question that will be asked most of the time when you are attending the interview how can you define a severity and priority to a defect uh, there will be a scenario explained and you have to pr basically provide your inputs how you will assign severity and priority to the defect so this is uh, there is a lot of confusion around severity and priority and how to assign it so in this tutorial i'll tr try to um, make sure that you understand how to assign severity what severity is what priority is so that it is very helpful for you in the projects to assign severity and priority and uh, so let's see what exactly severity and priority so as the name suggests severity and priority so priority is something which is you know related to time right so how what is the priority of things so in general english if you see just the uh, meaning of that particular term or severity is how severe the thing is how severe if, if i talk about the pain so how severe the pain is right so if if you have a pain in your hand how severe the pain is um if if it is you know very minimal pain then is it a high priority to visit a emergency department no right so similarly if the pain is very severe if you have broken your hand the severity is very high the, the pain is very severe and is is then there a priority or do you then need to visit the emergency department yes so it is a high priority so this is a general scenario of our day-to-day -day life and when we apply the same thing to software testing this happens or this concept can be applied to software defects as well now when you identify a defect in any of the software testing project you first thing as a software tester that you will assign is the severity right so severity is basically uh, how bad the defect is what is the impact of the defect on the software similar context as we have seen about the pain in hand or pain in your leg is the pain very bad so similarly, is the defect very bad? Is it, it is, is it impacting the software very badly? Is it breaking the software? And that's what severity is. And severity is assigned by the software tester or the person who is actually testing the software because that person knows what the severity is, whether the defect is breaking the overall functionality or it is blocking the person from progressing to further steps in the testing right so that's what severity is in very simple terms now when we talk about the priority priority is determines what priority determines it determines what is the urgency of repair so when you have broken your hand when there is a fracture it is very urgent that you go to the emergency department you get it cured you get get all the medication that is required right similar context in software testing defect when the defect is very severe the priority will be high okay so that's the one scenario there might be cases when severity is very low but the priority is high so those all I'll cover and how you categorize the defects accordingly in just a couple of minutes. But I'm just giving the analogy of your pain and correlating with defects so that you can easily understand this concept, right? This is not difficult at all. If you correlate each and every things with the day to day life, things will be really, really easy in terms of learning. So that's what severity and priority is. Severity defines how bad the problem is. Priority is basically how quickly you want to get that problem fixed. Okay. So it is related to the time. Priority is related to the time, how soon the defect needs to be fixed. Now let's understand some of the examples of severity and priority in form of a table. So what I'll do is I'll create a uh, x and y axis so let's say this um, x axis is say severity okay so i'll say severity and this is 
priority. Okay, so now in the severity axis, so in the severity, basically how bad the defect is, so this will be assigned by the keyway. So severity, basically the, the, uh, uh, the terms that are used for the severity are say low uh, and then minor, major and then critical okay it could be different in the organization so they might use different terminologies but these are very commonly used so most of the places you will find same you know low minor major critical and then in the severity what they do is they basically assign s1 s2 s3 and s4 so s4 is very low priority there could be one more s5 as well so critical is S1, S2, S3 and S4. It could be either way. It could be other way around. S1 could be low and S4 could be critical. So depending how the organization categorizes them, you will choose the severity and priority accordingly. Okay. So we have defined severity in the X axis. Okay. So this is X axis and in the Y axis, let's define the priority. Okay. So priority, how soon the defect needs to be fixed. So priority will be again low and then medium, high and immediate. Okay. Now priority again is defined usually by P1. So they'll say P1 hyphen immediate P2 hyphen high so that it it's easier when when they say when they talk about p1 p2 it, is it a p1 issue it, is it p1 s1 so it becomes easier in terminologies right so p3 and p4 is low right so now let's take a couple of examples of the actual website or actual application when you can categorize a defect as critical and uh, you know immediate fix now critical defect could be any defect which is blocking the functionality or the testing altogether right and it could be in the testing phase it could be in the production phase as well uh, in the production in the actual phase as well uh, right so production is not a phase as such it's basically the production so when the application is available to the customers to use and in that particular application there is a bug which blocks certain functionality and that functionality is very critical then that defect will be categorized as critical defect right so severity will be categorized as critical now when a software tester is doing the testing within the project they will associate the critical or s1 severity one to a defect which is blocking the application testing altogether Say for example, there is a, a software deployed or you are testing an e-commerce website and e-commerce website is being deployed and when you are trying to launch the website, the website itself is not coming up or if the website is coming up, then during the registration phase or the login phase or when you are trying to log into the website so that you can progress further, the login is not working at all, right? So after doing your due diligence, after after doing um, root cause analysis, if you f figure out that yes, in the logs you are getting the proper error, then you go ahead and raise the severe defect or S1 defect because that defect is stopping you from testing further. So when we say severe one, severity one or critical defect are the defects which block you uh, to test further or block a particular functionality which is very critical. Okay, so that's usually how you categorize critical defects now if there is a defect which is blocking your testing further then the priority or how soon that defect needs to be fixed will be high as well so that will be the case in that particular case you need to fix that defect immediately right so if there is a crash software crashes right and you can't do anything further that sort of defect will mostly be categorized as severity one or critical and immediate fix okay now say for example 
Interviewer asks you a question, can you give me an example of low severity and high priority? Very commonly asked question, right? So severity is very low, but the priority is high. So in those sort of scenarios, what you can explain is, say for example, there is a Amazon homepage, Amazon website, Amazon is a big organization, right? Now on the Amazon website, the main website, that's the interface of the organization, there are lots and lots of spelling mistakes, right? So on the home page of the Amazon website, if there are lots and lots of spelling mistakes and typos, then those typos are not blocking anything as such, right? They are not breaking the system. So severity will be low in that particular case because there is no functionality that is being blocked. All the links are working fine. The only issue is on the page, the spelling mistakes are there typos are there okay so that's the low priority or low severity but even though it is low severity because amazon is the world leader or basically they are a very big organization and it's it's a reputational damage when they have the home page or the website home page having so many spelling mistakes and typo it doesn't look good on the the organization part so that defect even though it is low severity will be categorized as immediate fix or high fix okay it could be either high or immediate because usually it will be immediate depending on what type of organization is how many people are accessing the website on a daily basis right so amazon is very reputable organization internal project managers will mostly categorize those sort of defect as immediate fix or high fix right so that's how the categorization happens and it's not a hard and fast rule that it will be high or it will be immediate mostly it will be low priority and immediate fix because it's a bad reputation for the company okay so that's one of the example of the low severity and high priority okay in the example of the crash when the functionality completely gets blocked that's high severity critical very critical defect and immediate fix because the software is crashing now uh, there are other scenarios as well that you can think of say for example somebody asks um, you know how you will categorize defect severity low minor major and critical right so depending on what sort of project you are working there is no hard and fast rule as such it is uh, within the project if you have defined a critical so any blockers are always defined as critical and must fix and based on that how critical or how severe the defect is you categorize those accordingly as major minor and low so any typos any link issues say for example on the main website there is just one link that is not working fine but that link is very uh, rarely being clicked or used um, based on the analytics results that you have got so you will categorize that as low but you, you might categorize that priority as medium because or medium as high because the link needs to work perfectly fine right so these are some of the um, examples that you can basically provide in terms of severity and priority in testing and how you will assign severity and priority in testing so two examples are very important in terms of crash uh, if if there is a crash the functionality is failing then it will be critical and immediate fix in case of crash of a particular functionality say for example the whole software is not being launched the the software has been installed and it's not getting launched then it it will be crash and it will be immediate fix there might be uh, categories wherein the particular functionality of the application say for example in the e-commerce website when I add uh, the products and I go to the checkout and do the payment only credit card payments are not being accepted so as part of the testing the defect is still critical but it is only blocking one particular phase of my testing other testing other payment types are working so other functionalities are not blocked right so even though this particular defect is critical but it won't be immediate fix and in that particular case what i'll do is as a tester i'll assign the defect severity as critical and product manager or um, uh, product owner basically they will decide 
in the defect triage meeting that yes this can be categorized rather than immediate we can live with it for another two sprints and we'll mark it as high or p2 right so s1 and p2 so even though it is critical but we'll mark it as p2 because there is credit card functionality credit card payment that is not working other payments are working so we can still progress further right so these are some of the scenarios if you try to think around um, the scenarios of the actual scenarios of the website of the functionality you will be easily be able to figure out how you will explain severity and priority for the defects to the interviewer and also use them very wisely and recommend the severity and priority to the people within your team so usually if you're a tester you will be mostly assigning severity and based on the severity that you assign priority will be defined by the product owner and your test manager or test lead they'll be having conversation along with you to identify the priority in the defect triage meeting and based on that the defects will be picked up and fixed accordingly within the project right so that's what that's all about severity and priority in testing i hope this was clear and you are able to understand the concepts that i have explained about severity and priority and this clarifies the doubts that you might be having around severity and priority and this will be helpful for you to explain this concept to interviewer in the interviews so that's all for this tutorial hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching